The Turkish government has officially launched a competition for the local development of a turbofan engine that will power the country's a national fighter jet in the making, the TFX. Turkey's Defense Procurement Agency, the Presidency of Defense Industries, or SSB, issued in June a request for proposals, inviting potential bidders for the program. SSB said two Turkish engine makers, Tuzis Engine Industries and TR Motor, have replied to the RFP. The agency's chief and the government's top procurement official, Ismail Demir, told media that TAEC, a partnership between British engine maker Rolls-Royce and Turkish industrial conglomerate Kale Group, would soon reply to the RFP, making it a three-way competition. Kale owns 51% of TEC. The planned TAEC engine is expected to fly the TFX at an altitude of 40,000 feet and help it reach a speed of up to Mach 1.8. Demir said the government's sine qua nons, or essential requirements, are Production of the planned engine in Turkey Intellectual property rights owned by Turkey No export license restrictions Cost effectiveness Demir said takes offering met all criteria but one, intellectual property rights owned by Turkey. In case we do not agree on a deal with Rolls-Royce, Turkey will move ahead with its indigenous capabilities to develop the engine, he stated. One of the two local bidders, Tuzis Engine Industries, is a government-controlled company. Based in Eskizhir, northwestern Turkey, TEI was founded in 1985 as a joint venture involving GE Aviation, Turkish Aerospace Industries, the Turkish Armed Forces Foundation and the Turkish Aeronautical Association. The other domestic bidder, TR Motor, was founded in 2017 by SSTK, a subsidiary of the procurement agency SSB. Tuzis, which is the parent company of TI and Turkish Aerospace Industries, wholly owns TR Motor. SSB plans to build TFX prototypes using the American-made F110 engine. The General Electric F110 is an afterburning turbofan jet engine produced by GE Aviation, and it uses the same engine core design as the company's F101. The engine is also built under license by TI. It is likely that we may use the F110 in serial production, of the TFX, Demir said. But a senior industry official and engine expert said powering the TFX with the F110 may prove difficult. Serial production may require vast amounts of investment and testing time. In addition, this option would come with the same export license and intellectual property rights problems as Turks dislike with the Rolls-Royce solution, the official said on the condition of anonymity, as the individual was concerned about employer retaliation for speaking to the media. Demir also said Base Systems has made a new proposal to Turkey about the TFX program. The new proposal is about the second phase of the TFX program. We will respond after checking if that proposal for technical support fits our requirements, Demir said. The TFX's second phase is about finishing the preliminary conceptual design. Top British manufacturers like Bay Systems and Rolls-Royce are no strangers to the TFX program. In October 2016, Rolls-Royce offered a joint production partnership to Turkey with a view to powering planned Turkish platforms and potential sales to third parties. The company's proposal involved a production unit in Turkey to manufacture engines for the TFX, as well as for helicopters, tanks, and missiles. In January 2017, Base Systems and TAI signed a deal worth more than £100 million, US $120 million, to develop the Turkish fighter jet. We work with Turkish Aerospace to bring know-how and engineering expertise to the TFX program, they tweeted February 15, 2022. The TFX is scheduled to make its maiden flight in 2026. It will enter service in 2029, according to Turkish officials.